What's up, everyone? Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Click that little bell button. Stay up to date with all the videos that are dropping weekly. Like, comment, and share this with a friend. They are just relentless, confident, unbelievably well-conditioned. Game closes. Here's Jordan. Yes! Final seconds. We're talking the late, great Kobe Bryant, Knicks Bulls, USA Dream Team, Tony Kukoc, and oh yeah, Air Jordans on this episode. Let's go! My mentality was to go out and win. The show of the 90s. This episode got me so pumped, so fired up. Episode 5 was dope, straight up. Man, right when it started, going right into the Kobe Bryant story. All his hands again to Garnett. Back to Kobe. Bryant idolized MJ, and it started with this whole... Uh, 1998 NBA All-Star Game where, you know, it's basically the passing of the torch. See Kobe Bryant in the foreground, the man many have dubbed the next Michael Jordan. I got mine, I got mine. Here is Michael. Ah! And they went into, you know, how Kobe basically, you know, was, was like a, a mini Michael Jordan. Stole all his moves. Question about shooting his turnaround shot. So I asked him about it. And, you know, he gave me a great detailed answer. But on top of that, he said, if you ever need anything, give me a call. It's like my big brother. What you get from me is from him. MJ won the All-Star Game MVP and went into this again. They were like, why people didn't understand, you know, why MJ was retiring. Damn it. <laughs> hey, yeah, CT. <laughs> and MJ was getting that question a lot in the media. Was getting sick and tired of answering that question why are you retiring people didn't understand people in the public wanted him to continue playing and he was still at the top of his game he was still the best basketball player goes into mj's last game at madison square garden Michael Jordan's final. MJ loved playing at MSG, that it was his favorite arena to play in. He wore the ones his last game because he also wore that his first game. So that was dope. And he went off. Let me learn about the entire shoe deal with Nike. Mike didn't ever want to be with Nike. David Folk, his first order of business was getting him a shoe deal. And Nike was the upstart brand at that time. Brought MJ in and they made him an offer that he really couldn't turn down. At the time, Nike was coming out with Air Souls. They flipped that around, they made it Air Jordans. And Jordan. That got a pretty good ring to it. Kids, I mean, including myself back in the day. And still now, it's a fashion statement. It's gotta be the shoes. You have Jordans, people wait in lines for a day, two days to grab Air Jordans. Had those shoes on, we were like Mike. We were gonna jump out of the gym like Mike. We were gonna play like Mike. Everybody during that time wanted to be MJ. I think it was the first time that sports was being sold in a cultural way. I could be like Mike. I wanna be like Mike also. 1992, the Bulls are trying to repeat. They play the Portland Trailblazers, Clyde Drexler, MJ, is being compared to Clyde Drexler. Clyde the Glide says we're the two best in the game, but I'm not getting into a war of words with Mike. Clyde was a threat. You know, I'm not saying he wasn't a threat, but me being compared to him, I, I took offense to that. The night before game one, he has a conversation with Magic Johnson. He's like, I'm gonna give it to this dude. You know what's gonna happen tomorrow. I'm gonna give it to this dude. And he straight up gives buckets to Drexler. So he hit that first three, and then here come the second. 
The third one. Bulls end up beating the Blazers in six games for the repeat. Then we go into the 92 Dream Team, and they start talking about Isaiah Thomas. I don't know what went into that process. I met the criteria. How MJ didn't like Isaiah Thomas, but Isaiah Thomas wasn't very liked by a lot of the players on the team, like Magic, Bird, Scottie Pippen. It just wasn't going to be a good fit. Tony Kukoc, player from Croatia, lots of potential. Jerry Krause thought Kukoc was the future of the Bulls, and this rubbed Pippen and, and MJ the wrong way. And MJ and Pippen ended up taking out all their frustration on Kukoc in that first game. They shut him down. Excellent passer. That pass picked off. They had a second meeting which was the gold medal game. Kukoc ends up playing a lot better. Episode six, we're talking MJ in the media. I wouldn't want to be like Mike. It's an impossible task. And it was crazy to really see how much of an icon MJ was. This guy really didn't have any free time to himself, except when he was in his hotel room. Right when he left the hotel, right when he got off the elevator, the man was smothered by reporters. MJ was not enjoying the lifestyle anymore. Bad side of MJ and how this, you know, how MJ wasn't the golden boy. How every, how people um, and teammates didn't like him, didn't like playing with him sometimes. And they, it exposed a bad side of MJ. Nick's Bulls and how this was pretty much the bad boy Pistons part two. <laughs> fouls no blood no foul again this is the 1990s style of basketball that we don't really see anymore long story short the bulls end up winning finals against the phoenix suns Again, winning six, they three peak, but we're finding out towards the latter part of this episode that Michael is fed up. He's fed up with the media. He doesn't have that hunger, doesn't have that joy anymore to play basketball. And we'll see what's gonna happen in episode seven and eight. Man, I can't wait. This this keeps getting better and better. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, share, comment, do whatever. I'll see you guys next time on the next review. Coach Drew, peace. We out. The Chicago Bulls have confirmed that Michael Jordan will announce his retirement.